It was a normal day. Well, almost normal. It was almost a normal Friday, but it didn't end up to be. I rode my skateboard to my friend's house. Oops. I walked up to his house. As always, there was a bunch of pets already in the neighborhood. So I was just looking at the house because every time I walk there, I look at it. There was a couple pets in his neighborhood, so I decided to walk through them. Hey, you wanna play? Um, I'm, I'm kinda busy. Oh no, I just come this way. Um, yeah, I'm good. It was already so hard getting to my friend's house. When I went there, I saw boxes. His mom have been packing up boxes. Oh, wait, that was his sister. She must have been doing something. When I walked in, there was a box. And just a couple. And a big one. Hi, you ready to come in? Oh, yeah, sure. Here, let me open the door. Sorry, we have a couple of boxes. Where's all the stuff you usually have? Uh, we had to put it in boxes and, you know, stuff like that. Come on, we need to get in the car soon. Hurry it up with your friend. Tell him where we're going. Oh, yeah, we're moving across state. What? After that day, he was moving across state. This was my last day to play with my best friend before he moved. I couldn't believe he was moving. He was my only friend in the neighborhood. Well, apparently that monkey wanted to be friends with me, but I didn't even know him. He told me to walk in, so I did, because I didn't want to be rude, but I didn't really want to walk in. He already told me enough, and I was already sad. So I just wanted to get over with and go cry in my bed. But I ended up having to stay for a while, because he wanted to ask me if I wanted the house. And I really did always love his house. Because I'm giving away the house, uh, you want it? Um, in my head, I thought no. Of course I didn't want the house, but I've always loved looking at it. So was it a worth looking at it or looking into it? I thought, no, it kind of wasn't. I was already busy for a couple days, so I said this. Sorry, um, I really do like the house I'm living at right now. Oh, okay, I was just asking. So I walked around his house, just giving a nice tour. I really liked the house, though. And the next second, he was moved out and I was moved in. It was so weird. The neighborhood was quiet because he was the only person. I wish I had pictures of him, but we FaceTime every night, so it wasn't much different than it was, but it was still really sad not being able to see my friend half the time. I mean, you know, it was always sad when we were like a couple minutes away from each other. So being across state was just, I just couldn't feel any, like, sadder about having a friend move away because most of the time if a friend moved away, they wouldn't be that close. But this friend was really close. And now he's just suddenly across state. So, anyways, you probably want to get back to the story. So do I. So, uh, I guess we'll go back. But this night, I was home alone, and so, yeah. I was home alone, in my house, bored. Hmm, what should I do? I was kind of scared, because when you're home alone, no one's there. I decided to call my friend. Hopefully he picks up. I had to call him on my computer, because my phone was dead. Hello? Hi! What are you up to? I'm just at my new house. How about you? Oh, yeah, I'm at my house, but I'm kind of scared. Well, why are you scared? Um, is everything okay? Well, I'm just home alone, and I don't really know what to do. 
Oh, well, that's kind of sad, but I'm home alone, too. You are? Um, that's kind of cool, but, um, are you listening to me on your line? I am home alone in a new house. Oh, dude, that's tough. Well, I gotta go. Bye. We, we, no. He was glitching out. Maybe I shouldn't have hung up on him. He hung up on me? Ugh. I have to go to bed. So I went to bed. He was very far away. Couple minutes later. What? Hello? Hello? Um, who are you? Uh, uh um, uh, huh, huh, the, the mailman? C come in. It sounded a lot like the monkey, but the monkey always had a mysterious look in his eyes, but I didn't think he was mean, so I went to go answer the door. I probably shouldn't have because, well, I was home alone in stranger danger. But I wasn't filming and I was bored, so. Maybe it was someone very important, so I answered the door. Not a big mistake. A great, ginormous, big mistake. Cause this happened next. Keep watching. Coming. Ah, what are you doing here? Ugh, you made me fall. You scared me. What are you doing here? Um, yeah, I'm doing like Boy Scouts and I need you to like sign this. Um, I, I need to come in though. And I said yes big mistake I was thinking in my head but then this happened um okay yep thanks hey there's just one more thing I need to tell you get over here ah! no I don't know you no don't take me away what are you doing listen I'm trying to save you come on you could have just told me you were saving me not just say uh here to sign something and then grab me Listen, kid, I didn't have time to talk. Just follow me. I thought you were a kid. No, I'm an adult. Come on, just, just go. I'm not following you. Don't grab me. No! Don't grab me. I don't like being picked up. I'm not two. Listen, I get picked up too, kid. You're an adult. I, I, I realize that. Just, just come with me. I don't want to. Just, just, kid, just come with me, please. I'm gonna save you. Is anyone else doing this? Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, mommy, I'm scared. Just follow me. Guess they are. My mom and dad are home, though. Don't take anything with you. Your mom and dad are safe. Just come. What's happening? Just come with me. Uh, okay. Kid, someone just tell me what's happening. No, you need to hide. I'm scared. Just come on. You can't stop if you're scared. But you're the one who stopped. I realize that. Just come on, let's go. I know that you're scared. I'm scared too. But then why did you grab me? Because it was for your own greater good. So yes, I was literally being moved to an area I never thought I would be. I was in a chair, people, in a chair. I woke up mysteriously in a chair, not knowing where I was. You guys don't know how scary this was. There was a police officer right in front of me telling me stuff, and I didn't even know what she was saying. It was so scary. The dude that literally came in my house and told me he needed me to sign something that ran away with me was there, too. Where am I? Listen, you're at the police officer. Welcome to LPS Police. Listen, the man took you out, and were you scared? Um, yes. Listen, you were in another state. 
Um, excuse me, can I just ask how did I get here? I woke up and I was in a different state. Yes, you were in a different state. Listen, kid. Stop calling me kid, everyone. I have a name, you know. Okay, what's your name? Cooper. Can you just call me by my name, please? I'm a golden retriever, and you're calling me kid. I'm not a kid. I'm a pet. Calm down, seriously. I'm literally just trying to help you. Okay, so where was the last time you woke up, and where was it? Uh, in a bridge? Kid, stop calling me kid. My name is Cooper, and I'm a dog. Okay. Cooper. Yeah, that sounds wrong. Cooper. Yes? Listen, where were you? This is a mysterious case. Okay, I was with this monkey dude. Okay, and do you have any relationship to this monkey? No. Um... Aren't you guys, like, in the same exact neighborhood? Yes. Okay, then you know him. Okay? <sighs> Looks like I need to go get my paper for this one. I'll be back. Uh, my assistant will come. 20 minutes later. Okay, my assistant's coming. Hi, I'm the assistant. Are you the same exact person? Oh, no, we're twins. So, what do you think you got? I don't know. But something's wrong. I know. Should we tell him what really happened? I, I don't know. Here, you could leave. I'll just deal with this. Okay, good luck. Watch in for part two, coming soon.